Hello and welcome to the First Crush Automated Pill Crusher in-service video. Our system includes not only the automated pill crusher, but also a power cord and a required set of consumable cups. The First Crush Automated Pill Crusher here uh, uses a rechargeable battery. Uh, that rechargeable battery uh, can be found on the bottom of the unit, whose footprint is actually smaller than many manual crushers. You can access the battery pack by removing a single screw, as shown here in the video, and then uh, removing the battery and replacing it if ever needed. To use the rechargeable battery, uh, you will plug it in uh, each evening. It requires only one charge per day, as you should get over 300 crushes on a fully charged battery. To ensure you're using the correct power cord, you'll want to check to make sure that the red sticker on the power cord matches the red sticker on the back of the pill crusher. The pronged end of the power cord goes into a normal wall outlet, either at the nurse's station or where you store your med carts, and the plug end of the power cord just simply goes into the back of the machine. When charging, a red light on the keypad will stay solid red, and it will stay solid red until fully charged. A minimum of 15 minutes is required to charge the battery, and up to three hours on a completely dead battery. The same red light will turn itself off when fully charged and blink if ever the battery charge gets low. To turn on the unit, you simply press the blue on button in the middle of the keypad and the small green LED will turn on. You can hold down the button for several seconds to turn it off or the unit will turn itself off after about five minutes of not being used to conserve battery life. To open up the unit, it's fairly simple. You simply push the blue open button uh, that is located under the lid and lift the lid. This can be conducted either with two hands or with one hand once you become familiar with the unit. One of the biggest differences with the First Crush Automated Pill Crusher is that we use two separate crush cups. This is the top cup, which you can tell because it has little dimples on the upper rim of the cup. And our lower cup, which is used as a serving vehicle to mix your applesauce or pudding with your crushed medication, and the dimples are facing down along the rim. If ever there's a question about which cup is used in which orientation, there's a simple label on the front of the machine simple instructions on how to identify which is the top cup and which is the bottom cup. When crushing, we typically recommend five to six medium-sized pills be crushed at once. If there's smaller pills, you can do more. If there's larger pills, you may wish to do less. Certainly, this is with deference to your own policies and procedures. Once the pills are placed in the bottom cup, the top cup is placed on top, and then you simply close the lid, and when you close the lid fully, you'll hear a little click that indicates that the lid is not locked and cannot be opened during the crushing cycle. This is to avoid any exposure to the staff of the crushed medication. There's two grind settings shown here, a standard on the left and an extra grind on the right. The only difference is time. The standard crush is 7 seconds, the extra grind is 14. The key is that once you push it, your hands are free so you can accomplish other tasks at the med cart while the machine is crushing the medication and you no longer have to waste time or hurt your elbow, wrist, or shoulder during the crushing cycle. Once completed, you simply, again, push the blue open button under the lid and then lift the lid in order to take out both of the cups at the same time and place them on the med cart. This is key uh, because the top cup is touched medication, much like a pill pouch uh, of many manual crushers. We put an anti-static coating on the cup, which with a little tap should eliminate most of the medication from being stuck to the bottom of that top cup and have it ultimately reside in the bottom cup where you can add your applesauce or pudding directly and serve the resident from the bottom cup. Again, the harder you tap that top cup, the more the medication will get out. There's a small warning in the lid that indicates always use two cups to avoid cross-contamination and wipe down the unit 
once per shift. You can use any wipe that's available on your med cart today. An alcohol wipe, a bleach wipe, even hydrogen peroxide based wipes are perfectly fine. We just want to maintain the cleanliness of the unit to ensure its proper working operation. The cup holder is removable as well in order to ease with any cleaning that may be required due to spills or, or other medication residue. In essence, this is the first crush automated pill crusher, which is meant to make your life easier as a caregiver and the life of your patient or loved one easier as well too. There's our 877 number if ever technical service is required on the front label, as well as on the white sticker on the bottom, which is also includes our serial number. Please call us if there's any questions about operation or technical issues with your unit. All we need is the serial number on the bottom of that white label, as well as a description of what the issue is, and we'll help you address it. If ever the lid gets stuck, Simply hold down the lid with a little pressure and push either the standard or extra grind button to cycle the unit one more time. This should alleviate the internal mechanism and unlock the lid.